Welcome back to my channel. It's another baking video with my mother. Welcome back. <laughs> good morning. Well, good afternoon. Good or afternoon. whatever time it is you're watching this. But today we will be making the candy corn cupcakes. Like we said in our last baking video, which you should go watch if you haven't already. And um, let's get started. All right. <laughs> this is from Target, by the way. Um, it says first preheat oven to 350. Okay. Oh, and while we do this, I pulled up some scary stories or facts that I saved on my Pinterest. I'll put my Pinterest account somewhere. Um, since the last time we did a baking video, we did a Halloween Would You Rather. So yeah. Questions and answer. Oh no, Would You Rather again. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, it says insert cupcake liners into cupcake or muffin pan. So we have our cute, will it focus? Our cute trick or treat cupcake liners from Target. Um, it says mix in a large bowl, combine cake mix, one cup water, two tablespoon oil, and three large egg whites, no yolks, until moistened. Beat two minutes at medium speed or 450 strokes by hand what the heck they counted how much strokes it would take don't get we're gonna separate it <clears throat> and then what comes what comes in here is includes cupcake mix color sprinkles i mean <laughs> color gels and sprinkles but as you notice they have frosting on the top so you have to buy that yourself Oh, this! Oh, the sprinkles are so nice. That's what the sprinkles look like? Well, we got sprinkles already. You want to show them the sprinkles? Oh, I just want to put it all in my mouth. And I also bought these because I had them when I was a child. Just the sorted sprinkles. <coughs> yep. Yep. Then they give you color gels because you know. Candy corn, there's two different colors. There. Okay. <laughs> Mix this. Yes, you add one cup water. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna put cold All right, and then two tablespoon oil. <coughs> we have the vegetable oil. Excuse me. What? <laughs> One. One. Your cute little tablespoon thing. Do you want to do this? No. I do the eggs. Okay. Careful. Does anyone love watching those Halloween baking shows? Or just baking shows in general? Which one's your favorite, Mom? The show. kids um, baking show. What is it called? The kids baking championship or yeah. something? <clears throat> there was one season that we were so into it. Because oh they're so cute and they're at the age of what? 11, 10 and they can bake. I love those shows and um, Joan and Chipping Chip. Joe. 
Chip and Joe. On HGTV. <laughs> Okay, is that mixing up? I don't know, did you do 450 strokes? Sure you do it. <laughs> Let me uh, drink my coffee. All right, this is what the mixture looks like. Hopefully I don't <clears throat> spill it. One time I, we were FaceTiming uh, my mom's family in the Philippines and this was like years ago. <laughs> It was on like the laptop webcam and I wanted to show them the cantaloupe juice that me and my mom made. <laughs> so I went like this, but I, I didn't realize. It. Why do you have to spoil it? I didn't get there yet. <laughs> I spilled the sticky cantaloupe juice with its like cantaloupe strings all over my laptop. It didn't break, right? It just made the keys really sticky. sticky. I was like, oh shit, my dad's gonna kill me. <laughs> My dad's a very techy person. All right, smell. Ooh, it smells like pancakes. It, it is smell okay. cake. There's eggs on it, baby. I don't care. Egg whites. <coughs> Same. Okay, go ahead. And... Why are you rushing me, Mom? This is supposed to be relaxing. What happened to the music? I don't know. Chanel's watching. Um. Okay. Divide the batter in half. Pour into two medium bowls. Halloween bowls from last video. My favorite. And then, using a pair of scissors, carefully clip a small corner from the orange color packet and squeeze contents into one bowl of batter. Mix thoroughly. Next, clip a corner of the yellow color packet and squeeze contents into the second bowl of batter. Mix thoroughly. Caution. Color gel may stain skin and surfaces. Immediately wipe any wipe it up any spills. Wash hands with soap and hot water. White vinegar helps remove stain from skin. All right. It didn't stain the last time. I know. I just want to warn us. I think this is enough. Yeah, you're gonna kill it. All right. Okay, let me go get the school. Oh, I'm not even telling scary stories. What are you gonna tell that when we put it in the? Okay, okay, one scary story from Pinterest. It says, a man took a photo of his young daughter playing in their living room and the resulting image clearly shows a ghost crawling form of light energy in front of her. It also seems as if the little girl can see it too. Could it be the spirit of her deceased mother? Okay, this deceased mother is kind of far, but look. You see it? Oh, that gave me a good spot. <laughs> Let's see if they can see it. Focus. Oh, are we going to mix it more? Do you see it? It's right there. <laughs> oh, we got blurry. Um, Remember the last time when... Um, oh, we should tell them our experience in Laguna. June. June was um, taking picture at the... When we're at Mission Dolores. Mm -hmm. After, I guess, after the party. Trudy said, um, took some pictures, and then when it developed, there's some um, white um, shadows. Oh yeah, Mission Dolores has <clears throat> a freaking cemetery right next to the playground. <laughs> that place is so haunted. I remember Trudy was telling us that About the library. Yeah, mom, why do you keep spoiling no, it? <laughs> um, she was. She was like a staff member and she helped with like, just like with the kids and stuff. She's Carmen's mom, by the way. And um, she was staying really late one night. Oh God. And then she was just in the library, you know, closing all the lights, making sure everything is clean, you know, ready for kids the next day. She, she went all up the to the library. Off. 
the lights were off it was dark she was the only one there and then she was about to walk out of the library and all the books fell <clears throat> well at least some books fell right mm -mm. That's why she called us in in because we lived like two seconds from Mission Dolores, like a block from Mission Dolores. I love that school though. That's where. Oh, tell um, them about Laguna. Hope. No, I don't want to tell about Laguna because your cousins might. Um, they're fine. So. When we were in the Philippines, <laughs> wait, sorry, I'm getting forks. When we were in the Philippines, we were staying at my uncle's house like every other week, just to you know, relax and hang out. And it was my grandma, my aunt, my cousin Julia, uh, my mom, and I. And my cousin Julia and yeah, her mom. Aunt. Oh, there's a squirrel. My. <laughs> My, they both went out to get some food, you know, snacks and goodies and stuff. And so my mom let them out. She locked the door and everything. And we were all upstairs, like me and my grandma, watching a movie. And my mom came back up. And like two minutes later, we we, did. <laughs> we heard the door slam. And I was like, what was that? And I was like, is that them? But it couldn't be because my mom locked the door and they didn't have a key with them, right? No. Oh, what do you need? Um, and then so I bravely, I don't, like, I didn't expect myself to do this. I walked downstairs and I'm like, hello? <laughs> but it, like, it couldn't be the neighbors slamming their door, like, Nobody's in the here. house next door because we don't hear them, like, ever do that. We can't hear them because they're in, like, a different house, you know, you know. <laughs> and I was like, I bet it's the bathroom because the bathroom is so sketchy. The bathroom is scary. Um, close. And my mom's like at the top of the stairs looking. She's like, wow, I'm surprised you did that. <laughs> but yeah, it was pretty spooky. Get the belly experience it too. Tell them. Uh, I don't know about the details, but. She just said she was brushing her teeth in the bathroom. <gasps> no, my battery's dying. Oh crap. <laughs> and like, she just felt like someone was staring at her. Yeah. Oh, she fell on her, Here. behind her. Oh no, my battery. Okay. Well, we're putting well, the gels into the... Well, can you, uh, is there a way you can charge it while yeah. filming? Okay, no, I'll do that, go ahead. I can't do it while it's filming. You can't? No. So I might have to just pause, take a break. This happened when I was cooking with Carmen. I knew I should have charged him. I last told you night. last night. You don't bet you don't leave him. I want to mix the orange one. This one is the yellow. This is the orange one. Yes. And this is the yellow. It's yellow now. Let's see. Oh no! It's like flashing red. Like charge me, charge me. Oh, we were getting into the spooky stories. Right. But that's, it's up to you if you don't believe or not. We believe. I love ghost stories and I want to go ghost hunting so bad. I want to go to Alcatraz Okay, it's all night. mixed now and her battery is dying and we're going to put it and bake it. And let you charge. My eyes look really scary. Um, we're just gonna separate them into the cupcake liners. We're gonna do the yellow and then the orange on top of it because that's how candy corn goes. All right, so I charged my battery for a bit while we were filling these up, but the bottom of this is the yellow and on top is the orange. And now, wait, wait, two directions. Okay, now, can they see? Um, bake at 350 for 8 to 20 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. Frost and add sprinkles uh, when completely cooled. Frosting not included. Bad, bad target. <laughs> why, why are you focused on me? <laughs> I'm not. 
Don't worry, I'm gonna try again. Oh my gosh, it's blurry. How many minutes? It said 18 to 20, so put it in for like 15. 18? No, put it like 10. Because you know our mm. oven is. Our oven bakes really quickly or just hot. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna put uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Alright. Ooh, see you in 10 minutes. So we let them cook for 15 minutes, right? First, the timer went off for 10 minutes, and then turn off. I heard it, and so I turned off the timer to go check on the cupcakes, you know, stick a little, where is it, stick this knife in it to see if it was cooked all the way, and she yells at me, she goes, no! <laughs> <laughs> I got so oh, scared yeah, and she was doing the dishes and I was like what what she, and I was like the timer went off and she was like oh I'm sorry and then we just laughed for like five minutes because she sounded like a monster I didn't, I didn't hear the timer <laughs> it was right next to you because no. you're not supposed to um, open because you're going to ruin your cake or your cupcake but yeah, she scared me and then we laughed about it. <laughs> but um, that's what they look like. It's preparing the little icing bags. But while they were baking, I uploaded a video. And you should go watch it if you haven't already. Please. That one. Subscribe and like. Oh, and the blurry. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> but yeah. That one, the football game one. I know it was kind of messy and short, but just wanted to share the football game with you guys. Yeah, with Michelle. I love vlogging with her. She's a joy. And cooking with my mom. Tomorrow, I'm gonna bake some pumpkin scone. But I want her to bake those pumpkin pasties. Pasties from Harry Potter. Pastry. If you know, you know. But they're oh, just it. like this dough or something with pumpkin inside, and you bake it. And oh, dogs oh you're not gonna be here tomorrow. Maybe I'll do it on Friday. Oh my god! I was like, why? Why am I not gonna be here tomorrow? I forgot There's tomorrow's school. Thursday. This little Mister is staring at me. You wanna say hi? Hey, what about the bir birthday girl? Wait. He was looking at me. Oh, that's so cute. What about our birthday? Also, October 3rd, which you know, everyone knows is like Whoa. Mean Girls Day or whatever, is my dog Chanel's birthday. She's turning seven. And, and yes, she, she will have a cupcake. And, and her uh, costume. Later on, I mean, mommy's gonna give her a bath. So she looked beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. But uh, we will come back when the cupcakes have cooled and we will ice frost them or whatever and tell more scary stories. And we'll see you then in like probably 10 minutes for us and like one second for you. Bye. 12 seconds later. All right, we're back. We're gonna move the cupcakes on here so we can ice them. The icing that your daddy ate. He ate half of it, then had to go out and buy me more. Like, no, you can't eat them. They're for my cupcake. <laughs> he got bored though. Decided to eat it. But I, who who wouldn't snack on frosting? I used to snack on frosting. Yeah, you and your dad. You tell him what you're doing. I'm getting ready to put the icing here so we can ice it up. Move it so they can see one. us icing. Alright, I moved it so you guys can kind of see it. But um, after we ice it and put the sprinkles, we bought candy corn because you know they're candy corn. <laughs> Candy corn. <laughs> Sorry. They're candy corn cupcakes, so we're just gonna put one of these on top. Oh, 
top and my dad ate the other bag of course so i'm gonna do it too okay you want to do it now you look like you're struggling is it hard that's what she said <laughs> okay well while she does that i'm gonna read Ooh, a scary story yeah cute sprinkle it Focus. Cute. You know you should put it in. Um, you should put everything here first, and then transfer it there. Cause no. So you need to sprinkle it. The thing got busted. Let me transfer it. <laughs> it was like, what happened to the cupcake? It's like Your a spider web exploded. Super. My ziplock. Oh, I'm our ziplock. <laughs> what happened? Um, this one's short. It's just a picture of a ghosty lady. And then the story's on the bottom. But it says 3.23 a.m. Can you give me the other ziplock, please? This one. I'm gonna put it together. Are these the same, um, tools? No, I'm just gonna double this one. Where's the hole? <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Okay. Oh, and we have these little piping yeah. ice things. Yeah, my um, the ice thing is I broke it. Okay. Well, the story is this little girl talking to her dad. It says, "Daddy, I had a bad dream." The dad says, you want to climb into bed and tell me about it? She says, no, daddy. Why not, sweetie? Because in my dream, when I told you about the dream, the thing wearing mommy's skin sat up. What the heck? Thing. I don't think they wrote that correctly. But, um, okay. Okay. <clears throat> Wanna Ooh, that's move cute. around? Yeah. Let me put some more icing. I keep making the ice, the icing. The ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. Scam. Can you just tell them don't call me anymore? <clears throat> Whoa. Okay. Another story. It says I heard my mom calling me into the kitchen. As I was heading down the stairs, I heard a whisper from the closet saying, "Don't go down there, honey. I heard it too." Gave me a goosebump. I got goosebumps. <laughs> I love those kind of stories. They're so spooky. All right. Okay. Um, it says terrifying two sentence horror stories. I woke up to hear knocking on glass. At first, I thought it was the window until I heard it come from the mirror again. Gee. <laughs> Are you guys scared? <laughs> what? <laughs> I like this one. That one's cute. Okay. Um. Oh, here's like a fact thing. A little fact. I can't see it. It says, ever suddenly feel like you are being watched? Well, you probably are. Your brain has a primal gaze detection system, which can sense when somebody is either looking straight at you or slightly to the left or right of you. Chanel, did you get scared? Good job, dog. <laughs> hey, 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 come here. The whole oh my god, <laughs> that's a big one. Stop, you're nasty. Okay, next. See, I'm nasty, you're nasty. Next is in the closet. I didn't read this one, so I don't know if it's gonna be scary. That's the scary little person it says the clock on my bedside table flashed 3 45 a.m 3 a.m is like spooky ghost hour if you didn't know the closet was open and it had entered my room it was slender and twig like it's gray skin almost transparent <laughs> and um its bones were showing and its teeth were like needles it began approaching me slowly creating a vicious growling sound it was so close now, I could feel its breath on my face. It lifted its slender arm to reveal claws as sharp as daggers and swung in 
in my direction. I woke up, the <laughs> clock on my bedside table flashed 3.44 a.m. I got goosebumps. Oh, I heard my closet door opening. Oh my God. Were you paying attention? No, because this one's got a hole again. So he was telling the story about the slender thing coming out of his closet at 3.45 a.m., right? But he woke up mm -hmm. and it was 3.44. When it was 3.44, he heard his closet door opening. Ooh, I, ooh, my hair stay. <laughs> okay, this is the last one. It looks like a mummy. Ooh, okay. Um, here's just a story. There's no picture. It says, a few years ago, I was babysitting a friend's daughter. They lived in an apartment with a big patio window. Oh shit, we have, a <laughs> we have a patio window and a patio. She walked up to the glass door leading out to the patio and stared motionless into the night for several minutes. Oh God. I <laughs> um, love our patio. Shortly after, she runs into my arms saying, scary, too scary. She wouldn't let me put her down and demanded that I hold her and rock her for the next half hour. Eventually, she started repeating over and over, the dark coming inside now, the dark coming inside now. Ew. When was it? Last week when it was, it was pretty late and then me and my mom were just on the couch and then we heard a branch snap on our, because there's like trees outside our patio and we were like, what was that? And it was so loud. And then the next day, there was a random tomato on our patio. I thought it was a um, small pumpkin. And she also thought it was an orange. She was like, did you guys put that out there? I was like, mom, that's a tomato. We don't even have tomatoes. I don't know where it came from. Okay. Mm, I'm just gonna throw this away. I'm not gonna... <laughs> Sprinkle time. Is there some more in there? Mm. And the other one? Little. I'm done. Mom's making fun sit. All right. Fun time. Ooh. Now we're gonna put some sprinkles. This is gonna get messy. <laughs> Do you have any scary stories? Yeah, when my cousin died. Wait, wait till you turn the water off so they can hear you. Oh. Okay, story time, mom. When my cousin died giving birth, and um. Talk, talk to the camera. <laughs> you know, I used to have a small a store in the Philippines and then when after she died after like we buried her and and uh, my mom told me to she was gonna take a shower she said can you hand me the um, shampoo so I went to get the shampoo and then we both we we both smell like flowers and candles. You smelled flowers. You yeah. Smell like. We both smelled it. And then um, I gotta sneeze. My mom said, "Did you light some candles?" Or I said, "No, we don't have candles." <laughs> and then so I gave her my shampoo and no, her shampoo. So when I came back to my store there is um uh, somebody ate the pumpkin uh, seeds it's on the top of my store and i don't eat those and nobody's there just me and my mom and um my mom told me that because that's my cousin's favorite um snack when she was pregnant she loves to buy those seed pumpkin from me when she was pregnant so yeah that's so, scary i didn't yeah. get scared but 
you know, I love to see her and ask her some question, but but that's it. I'm glad she had a final snack. No, I'm glad she um, visited me and my mom. There's a little leftover sprinkles. Yeah, just leave it there. We can use it. Mm. Can we put it in here? No, no that's about it. My uh, chicken is... Uh, that's what they look like. It looks pretty. There's a scissors in it. Here, here. Where's the boy? Okay, it's time to cook you. <laughs> you want to try it? No? Okay. There you go. Well, don't put it face down. Give me some. No! What were you going to do? Put it like that. It's not that. Like the... Uh... Oh, they don't have can I have this? <gasps> My goodness, you're just taking it for mine. Can I? <laughs> Mom, can you? Oh, this one is perfect. Right there. <gasps> Why you? I know how to put it on. You don't. You're putting it like they dove into the cupcake. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be like that. The teeth. No more. Okay. Okay. Don't drop it. Okay. My mouth is like. That's what they look like. They're cute. Ooh. This one is my favorite. See? I put the candy corn on that one slanted like that. She put it like they were diving into the cupcake. That looks good. See? But that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and Like and subscribe. Share the video with friends and family and if you've come this far, comment your favorite cupcake, cupcake flavor. Uh, favorite Halloween dessert and I'll see you in the next video bye my little devils